Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. In the last video, tutorial number 10, I talked about the list view. Now, we'll be talking about filters, how we can add filters on your get request. When you say get request, the data can be huge, up to hundreds and even thousands. Well, we need some kind of way to search in that data. How do I do that? Django has pretty nice uh, built-in features. So in my first installation guides, we have installed basically the filters, Django filters. Just want to go over it, otherwise you will get errors and you will start complaining again. So go to settings.py. Make sure you have installed the filter, Django filters. Then make sure to add it in the install section. Once you add it, you should be all good to go. Then I'm going to go to my views section. So in the last video, we talked about the list API view, right? Now let's add a very simple filter in this. So we are going to see the search filter. So let me pull up my notes quickly. All right. So we'll import the search filter by saying from, and then we have to say from rest frameworks, hit enter dot filters import search filters right that's it that's all now how you can how to use basically the search filters so basically we have something called as filter backends django takes care of it everything so say filter backend automatically intellij is showing you the options hit enter basically filter backend is nothing but a list of tuples now the first filter that i want to pass is my so first we have to say Django filter backend. So you have to say something like Django. Basically, we need to import that first, right? Let me add the import statement right here. So from Django, here you can see Django filters, hit enter dot rest frameworks import. import Django filter backends. That's it. Now let's use it. So let's say Django filters backend. So basically, which tells Django that I want to use filters, it will add auto automatically the filter section. And let's say search filter. That's it. Let's run the application. So now earlier, we did not had any filter option, right? Now, as soon as I go to my server here you can see right now there is no option for filter right now let me refresh this so hopefully the server has started now if you go to the options let me refresh this again right let me see i think we we forgot to add couple of lines let's do that so filter backends and of course I forgot the word search filter. So here you can see, so the command would be filter fields, right? Filter fields and add the name of your models. So what was the models? Name, age and birthday, right? So go to views. Let's say you want to search by name and ID. Let's just run this and see what, what, what is going on. So I'm going to click on the search button right here. And here you can see Django automatically added filters for me. Wow. Isn't that amazing ID and a name. So I can say, I want to search for ID too. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Right. Let's say I want to search by a name. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to the get request where I can see the entire data. I'll say filter name. I'm going to search by name called as Nathan. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yes, that is. So basically it's as easy as adding this one. Now you can also add search fields basically. So you have to say search fields, search fields and the, by what you want to search. That's all. Hit enter. Server will restart, refresh it. Now, when you go to the filter option, you should also see something called as search. Let me make sure that the server is running. So now I'm going to go to the get request filters. 
not we have a search field right amazing so that's it for this video in the next video we'll learn about the paginations so thank you for watching see you guys in the next video